Hi, uh, still having problems with water pressure going down, even though you filled the pressure vessel with air uh, to about one bar. Then the likelihood is the pressure relief valve, which uh, uh, throws out the water if it's too much inside the system, is uh, has opened up and is not closing because there's dirt and residue on it. And the best way. Uh, what we'll show you is if it's a simple type is to clean it otherwise it needs a replacement which is a slightly bigger job so we'll show you the cleaning the way to clean it and, uh, and, uh, and keep it simple so we turn off uh, the boiler switch it off from the maze and we open it up Loosen the screws from earlier on, and uh, take the cover off. So the pressure vessel is in there, and uh, uh, the pressure relief valve is this red one here. And uh, this is uh, the more modern type, where it simply unscrews off. So, what we do is, turn the valves off for the central heating underneath, open up uh, to let the water out of the system, and then uh, we take the, the valve part off by a wrench here, anti-clockwise. I've already done it on the system here and uh, it's not worth uh, repeating it to, and disturbing it. I've got a separate valve here. It's exactly the same and it's three bars maximum pressure. So what we do is open it up like so. And in the, if it's got the residue, it will be dirty and brown here and really rough. And it will be the same on the rim across there. So when it comes to get, it's not closing. There's tiny gaps and it's weeping through. And uh, it'll show on the uh, pressure relief pipe which is usually outside but on this one it's uh, in with the washing machine so we can't really show you that on there so we clean this off with the sc scourer and the same way in the rim so this is shiny and they can make the contact and uh, keep, keep the water stop the water from weeping and we simply replace it and tighten it so that would be exactly the same over there then we close the outlet and turn on the center heating pipes and uh, Put the covers back. Screwing it in. Simply Turn on the boiler, put the boiler on, and then we need to go to the thermal coupling and put the pressure back on. And you'll find that should cure the problem. But if it's still weeping and the rubber is too far worn, then the valve 
will need replacing. And if you get the same type, you can just simply take that off and put a new piece on. And that should resolve the problem. Anyway, take care and uh, good luck with it. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.